YouTube. Um, since I caught a redback salamander yesterday, just thought it'd be a good idea to show you the environment that I'm herping in now. That the snow is almost melted. It's all woods. It's all my woods, actually. And over here. Got more woods. Burp. Burp. This is yesterday where I was walking through. See there's mud. Uh, very muddy. It's got new DCs too. Just wearing these out there. Gonna run across. And holy crap. Looks like my stepdad. Cut some trees down today. So this was herping yesterday. Over here. This is all moved. You guys back here see if there's anything else. Oh I know it. Kinda of herped it out yesterday. This thing left with a little breath. So, working out here is pretty fun. Mostly because it's hard. And when you find things, it makes you happy. It's not hot every day. It's a single old centipede. That always makes me think it's a salamander. Right there. I think it's dead. It's like under there. All the time. I'm just going to flip a couple logs and then yesterday there was like a one or two logs that were actually frozen into the uh, into the ground. So. The thing, uh, you should always flip back the lag that you flipped because there's a whole eco, its own ecosystem under each log. So it's always smart to flip the log you flipped before. This is the exact rock. This stone right here is the exact rock that I found the sunlighter under yesterday. It's right here, vegan. He was like right there. I, I, I watched, I really watched that video, and I realized you couldn't see the sound ender from in there, it kind of sucked. It's kind of bummed, but, you know, I took it out, so, should be good. And that should be it. And there's a lot more racks and stuff. It's like a little junk area. This is actually the lab yesterday that I couldn't, wouldn't flip. It's like in the ground. So is frozen. So is this one. This one's frozen. See, there's ice on it still. Yeah, this is a little junk area. Hmm. Bunch of logs. This is one of about seven or eight helping spots just in my woods. So that's where you actually find stuff. Um. Lots of spots in my woods. It's just all leaves like this. And I'm just walking out of the spot. But it's all leaves and stuff. So I just wanted to give you guys, uh, you fellow herpers who enjoy watching my videos, 
just an idea of what I hope in. And there's one last thing I want to show you before I end this video. I, have actually, I actually have a log pile over here. So. And um, tons of fence lizards. The eastern fence lizards. Uh, I completely forget the scientific name. Uh, I'm not even going to take a go at it because the last video it sucked like I was completely off. Oh, it's said like Pentanomus or Hollow was a plethodon since Cinerius. Well, I got that one down now, but we're back to in there. Ah, see this log's frozen. And then it's all logs. That's what I wanted to show you. If you're interested in finding eastern fence lizards or western fence lizards, this is just lizards in general. This is pristine habitat. There's many places to hide in it. Uh, and a lot of lizards like to take daytime basks in the sun. You know, there's lots of high advantage points like that stick and that one and you know, just the spots where you think it'd be sunny. And just because they'd be here because there's a lot of escapers. Like, you know, they just go in the crevices. So I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been a lot longer than I expected. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. I'm out, YouTube.